Hey guys, welcome to Angmo Chai Singaporean Local Food. I'm Dan with Jurong Point and we're going to go around and try some food. Let's go. Okay, so the team at Jurong Point have given me a bunch of classic Singaporean old school snacks. I've never had any of these before. Okay, so this is satay. It's chewy. I thought that was going to be crunchy. That tastes like spicy fish on a stick. That's fun, that's a good one, that's a good one. Next we have the super rings. Okay, let's try these. Mmm. Okay, that's pretty good. Crunchy, a bit salty. That's a good snack. Plum candy time, I heard it's a hit or miss for this one, so. Crunchy? You're supposed to suck. I chewed on it. That's a um, 6 out of 10 for me. It's not bad, but it's a good experience. So this is, I, I, I take it back, this is a 7 out of 10. It's good. I enjoy it. Alright, let's see what this one's like. Gotta go for pink to honor Barbie. It's like a crepe that's been dried. Yeah, this is fun. You know, it's like a very light snack. We've got the, the Ling Nong tablets. <laughs> let's open up this bad boy. We've got a lot of these tablets inside. Let's see how it tastes. I don't know if I really like this one. It has like, not bad, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. But um, if this was your childhood, you probably had a sad childhood. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so maybe best for last. Apparently this is a whistle. <laughs> Oh no, look at it. It's quite sweet. This one's nice. Grape flavor. Mmm. This is my favorite so far. This is for people who had a great childhood. Okay, well I heard that this is how you're supposed to eat this. Based on these snacks I've had, old Singapore childhoods must have been pretty fun. <laughs> Hey guys, we're at Kuei and Me and we're going to be trying some local delights. Here we have the Talam Ketan, Lapis Sagu, Lapis Baras, Lempa Udang, Onde Onde, Ongol Ongol, Prune Lapis, Rainbow Lapis, and Ice Sparkling Rizel. So I'm going to try the ones that I haven't had before. We've got the Lapis Baras. Okay, let's try this handmade delight. This is pretty good. It's really chewy, a bit sweet. That's a lot better than I was expecting it. Okay, here is the Lapis Sagu. The colors of Christmas. It's quite chewy actually. I thought they would be much more like jelly. It's really nice. I, I really recommend it. And it's a fun color too, right? Okay, this is the Lempe Udang. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> I'm quite curious to see actually. Okay, interesting. I was expecting something sweet. But this is savory. Spicy prawn with sticky rice. Wow, that's really interesting. That's, a, that's so unique. I'm glad we tried that one. Kway and Me is doing a giveaway of one box of Lapis Surabaya with three winners. So to enter, all you have to do is follow Jurong Point and Kway and Me on Facebook, share a photo of you at Kway and Me, and all the best. Good luck. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can experience a TG. TG means miracle, in case you're wondering. So they have Popia and Nasi Lamak, two classics around here, so let's see what it's like. Okay, so I'm here with a, is, is it Popia or Nasi Lamak? Nah, I'm just kidding, I know it's Nasi Lamak. The key to Nasi Lamak is the coconut rice, right? Everyone's like, yeah, jam fun. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can actually taste the coconut in the coconut rice. Okay, I can. But it's just a very slight flavor. To me, I don't feel like it changes the rice a whole lot. I know people are going to disagree with me. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just, all I can share is my own personal experience. My uncultured taste buds can't appreciate or can't feel the difference as much. Okay, got some sambal with my rice. Mmm. It's a bit spicy. Bit of flavor in that sambal right there. Let's try this chicken. Juicy, succulent, crunchy, delicious. Okay, time for the popia. I really like the cabbage inside. Refreshing, not too strong, the sauce inside as well. It's quite nice, I like it. Next.
We're at King of Prawn Noodle. Honestly, full disclosure, I don't love seafood, but you know what? I'm always open to trying something new, a new adventure. And so we're just gonna come into this with an open mind and an open mouth. You ready? The, the best prawn, apparently. Hmm. Like I told you, I don't honestly love prawn. That was, that was good, that was good. So it comes with meat, noodles, The noodles are a bit spicy, probably a bit too spicy for me, which means it's just right for Singaporeans. And the meat is really nice as well. So this is the whole prawn set. It comes with some deep fried pork. Crunchy, flavorful. What, what is this drink? Is this, is this bubble tea? Is this milk tea? Joking only, ah. <laughs> the calamansi goes well with the spicy noodles because it helps negate the spiciness. Okay, let's try this soup. That's got depth to it. A lot of effort that's been put into that soup, you can tell. That was a good experience. Excited to go to the next one, let's go. Time to try some Indian cuisine. We're at Pratawala. I actually come here pretty frequently when I'm coming home late at night because I live near Baikia and it's the only store open or one of the only stores open. Uh, it's a really nice place. We got the chicken biryani here as well as the chendol. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's start with the biryani. I don't know if this is standard. I'm actually gonna put a bit of the, the sauce on first. I like, I like my rice with a bit of flavor. Fragrant rice, curry sauce. Doesn't get better than that. Time to try some chicken. Mm. You can tell it's been cooked well. Nice and soft. Bake the papa down. Do we dip? I'm gonna dip. I don't know if this is if this is standard practice, but good sauce, good crunch. So we're gonna see if we can get some mixing happening. Okay, it's good. Okay, I've never actually had chendol with corn in it before. I didn't think I'd like it to be honest. I saw it, I was like. Oh no, not the corn, but actually now I'm like, oh yes, the corn, so mind blown. Honestly, I just had so much food. That was like a massive feast. It's really hard to say what my favorite is. So the food here is great. The food here is really, really good. And I really enjoyed trying all these different Singaporean dishes. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comment section. Starting from tomorrow till the 15th of October, Jurong Point is having a food festival. If you spend $180, you can redeem a free dinnerware set. It'll have a bowl, saucer, and spoon, and we'll have three different designs coming out throughout this whole period, so make sure you get all three. Terms and conditions apply, and you can find out more on our website. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Dan with Jurong Point. Make sure to follow us on our social media, and until next time, catch you later.